People in the South Bay just lost their first battle in the fight to prevent this Super 8 hotel from getting turned over to drug offenders. The city council just approved buying the hotel in Nestor with the goal of turning it into transitional housing. 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is live at City Hall with what could still stop the plan from happening. Rachel. Lindsay and Steve, as soon as you leave City Hall, you are immediately reminded of San Diego's problem with the homeless. You're greeted by the shopping carts. Now, supporters of this program say that turning low budget motels into transitional housing will help get people off the street. So this is my life, part of my life and my investment and money, life. Blanca Nieto gets tears in her eyes when she talks about how proud she is of the business she started 20 years ago. She owns Fiesta Hall on Palm Avenue in Imperial Beach. She fears turning the Super 8 Hotel next door into transitional housing will put an end to her life's work. People, they don't want to be close to something. It's yeah. going to be dangerous for the security, especially at the nighttime. The city just okayed buying the hotel with the ultimate goal of turning it into a place for low-level drug offenders and other misdemeanor offenders. It's part of a new pilot program called SMART. It's designed to give addicts a second chance and help reduce the city's homeless population. Plus, supporters say the hotel is doing nothing for the area. Now what it entails, which is essentially renting out the room uh, by the hour, it's not in a condition I think is uh, behooves that community and so we're looking to find ways to improve that site while providing a valuable service that we know is going to be needed throughout the entire city. The city wants to use a three million dollar state grant to expand the treatment program. Councilman David Alvarez is the only no vote. He says the city never should have approved buying the hotel without getting the okay from the Coastal Commission. If this even happens it'll be probably years before it does if it even happens. I'm not against, you know, the homeless, so, but I'm against they bring criminals, and I think they're going to really affect our area. And the city still needs to go through another approval process before they can start uh, the transitional program at the hotel. That is expected to happen sometime in the fall. If they don't get the okay, the hotel would be used for affordable housing. Reporting live downtown, Rachel Bianco, 10 News. Rachel